I'm Richard Roper, and coming up next, it's going to take one of the sons of anarchy to bring down these sea monsters and save the world. It's my review of Pacific Rim right now. The end of the world 2013 tour continues at the movies, this time with Pacific Rim. It's a ridiculously entertaining and often just plain ridiculous monster robot movie. This thing plays like that Rock'em Sock'em Robots game from the 60s combined with the cheesy wonderfulness of the Japanese monster movies from the 50s. We always thought alien life would come from the stars. But it came from deep beneath the sea, a portal between dimensions and the Pacific Ocean. Pacific Rim is set in a near future in which the increasingly lethal monsters known as Kaiju are surfacing from a portal at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. We're taking them on with Jaegers, robotic creatures capable of wading into the ocean and really having big battles with the Kaiju. It's too taxing for just one person to work the controls on the robot, so you need a two-person team, and they're connected by something called a neural bridge that enables them to act as one. Oh, right, I get it. Two pilots, our minds, our memories. Nothing. And man and machine become one. Charlie Hunnam, he's Jax on Sons of Anarchy, plays Raleigh. He's the obligatory rogue pilot who has great skills but a tendency to disobey direct orders. There's rarely an uninteresting shot in Pacific Rim, whether we're watching the monsters and the robots thrashing about in the water or marveling at the details of the costumes and the sets and the CGI mixing with a cast that does a fine job of selling this madness, even as the talk of neural bridges and closing that portal at the bottom of the ocean grows increasingly dense. Today. The edge of our hope. The end of our time. We've chosen to believe in each other. The day we face the monsters that are at our door. Today we are canceling the apocalypse. We're also treated to a fantastically entertaining, if hardly germane, subplot with the great Ron Perlman, who plays Jax's stepfather on Sons of Anarchy as a pimped-out black market dealer who sells nearly every surviving part of a Keiju corpse for a big profit. Why not? Mostly, though, we're here for the Jaegers versus the Keiju. I'm thinking either one of these guys could take down any of the Transformers. I give Pacific Rim a B. I'm Richard Roper. You can get all my reviews on Reels and at richardroper.com.